the new Iponic Cloud gives you a more user-friendly approach and a visual understanding of what's actually going on with your Iponic controller. Let's go ahead and go into My Iponic Cloud. And then from here, you want to go into View Controller. Now, as you see, the simplicity and the graphic interface helps you quickly identify the status of your grow room's environment. The sensor and set point section provides current sensor readings, your set points, and the equipment you have installed to influence the conditions that affect your plant growth. The field displaying your info can be easily changed by just placing the cursor in the field and keystroking your input. Note, when a change is made, a screen pops up at the bottom which requires action for you to either save or cancel. And in this circumstance, we're going to go ahead and save. And by doing so, we have changed the set point. Now the equipment status section displays your current equipment output location as well as the current state your equipment is in. The gray indicates that the device is idle, in auto, and currently off or forced off. And yellow indicates that it is currently on. And with a mouse click on the output, you can change this particular output to be forced off, forced on, or leave it in auto. But in, for this example, we're going to go ahead and force the device on. And then you're prompt to save. So we're going to go ahead and go down and save. And immediately the device turns on. And at the same time, simultaneously, within moments, your iPonic output will respond to the change that you have made on the cloud. Now, additional programming features will be discussed in our next cloud video. But for now, that's our general video overview, just to get you started, of the new iPonic cloud.